Ten bad bitches in a mash. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some candy. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions about advice on starting a YouTube channel. So I figured that I'd come up here and make a little chick chat get ready with me and give my best advice to, uh, for new YouTubers. So um, first I'm using my Becca, you know, my Becca Poreless uh, Ever Matte Primer on my nose. Could that get real shiny real fast? Alright, basically um, first things first when it comes to starting a YouTube, I figured that you need to decide what you're doing it for. You know, you can decide if you want to start off with, um, you know, hair, lifestyle videos, makeup videos, you know, whatever it is. And then you have to figure out, like, literally why you're doing it. Like, are you doing it because you want to help people? Are you doing it because you want to make extra money? Are you doing it because you just like making videos? Like, you literally have to find out why you're doing it. I'm not saying that one reason is better than the other, but if you're doing YouTube for money, people can kind of tell because you kind of reach levels of desperation that you wouldn't reach if it was just, you know, a hobby that you like to do. Me personally, when I first started out my YouTube, I just was fresh out of the military and everybody back home was asking me, you know, oh, how do you like it? What was the experience like? Everybody's so afraid of basic training. Um, so that was why I made my first YouTube video. But I've always been like a people person, so um, I've always had people kind of sort of like attracted to me. So I uh, already knew that YouTube was something that I could do and I felt like I could, see, I could succeed at. But that was the reason why, because everybody kept asking me questions and I was like, well I can just do one big YouTube video and every time somebody asks me this question, I can just send them this link. Another thing is do videos that you like to watch. So once you figure out what kind of videos you want to do and why you're doing YouTube, um, you have to figure out what kind of videos you want to make. Make the videos that you want to watch. So like me, I never find myself watching introduction videos, <laughs> so I don't make it. I don't have an introduction video. I never introduced myself formally to YouTube. Because if you like watching challenges, you know, do that because those are the things that you are going to be motivated to do. You can't really base yourself off of somebody else, what somebody else likes to do. I was a makeup person at first, you know, I really liked it to do makeup. I said liked it, that's not a word. I really liked to do makeup, uh, but once I cut my hair off, my hair kind of became my focus and everybody was very curious about my hair. Uh, so that kind of shifted and then once my hair journey began so did my protective styling so that's where the wig videos came in at so yeah you just kind of got to figure out uh what kind of videos you want to do i enjoy watching vlog vlogs so um i think that's my next venture uh starting vlogs when i get back to virginia i watch pranks occasionally but Miles watches pranks too so i couldn't see myself pranking him ever because he'll be like this a prank he'll know uh but yeah just do videos that you like to watch you know uh, another thing is use what you got until you can afford to invest in yourself i say this because so you i feel like youtube is part luck so anybody um there are people that are very consistent and i know plenty of youtubers that are very consistent and their videos just get no traffic and it's partly because somehow you know I think that YouTube is just part luck so I don't think it's a smart idea to invest in something that you don't know I mean you can invest in it because you know if you are somebody who really enjoys high quality videos and that's what you want to put out then definitely do that wait a minute Tyrone what are you doing come here come here now get the boy Okay, so if you're really serious about making YouTube videos and you actually enjoy high quality videos, honestly, there are people out there who don't really care about the video. They just care about what they can take from the video. Um, but if you are somebody who cares about quality and the quality of your video, I definitely think that it's okay to invest in yourself, but sometimes I think it's just not smart. A lot of people don't understand the work that goes into being a YouTuber, so you know, they think like, oh, okay, you know, I'll just buy this camera with my tax money or with my refund check or I'll just buy this camera right quick and then I'll, you know, start my YouTube channel. Um, and then once they start it, they realize how much work it is and how much bullshit come along with doing this. 
um, and then they get real discouraged real quick because their video is not doing numbers like they thought they would. It's a million of us out here. So you have to understand that sometimes it's smart to invest and sometimes it's just best to use what you have because like I, my suggestion to everybody that wants to start YouTube is just, you know, start with the uh, iPhone. Start with your iPhone, whatever computer that you have, use Movie Maker. Like, don't go out and buy a big expensive camera if you don't know that you're gonna, like, you don't know if you're gonna actually like it or you don't know, if you're one of those people who just kinda like, tries to dibble and dabble into everything, you don't know if you're gonna stick to it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's definitely what I think. Um, just to let you guys know, I film with the Canon T5. I use Final Cut Pro. I just think as far as YouTube goes, it's literally hit or miss. You can work so hard, do everything that you're supposed to do. You know, you can use like all the proper tags, all the proper video titles, all the right thumbnails, and like sometimes, you know, stuff just doesn't take off. Um, when you're working with something like that, then I don't think it's very smart to invest your money into something that you really don't have any control over, you know what I mean? So once it starts to boom, then you can upgrade your stuff and start investing in yourself. Um, but that's all personal, all personal preference. I knew what kind of videos I wanted to make and I knew that I didn't want to start on my phone. So I'm just, I didn't take my own advice and I went out and I bought a camera. And lucky for me, everything worked out, but everybody's not lucky. Another thing is, um, speaking of cameras and stuff, I can tell you the kind of camera that I use, but the kind of camera that I use is tailored to me and my setup and my lifestyle. Just do your research. That's what I get so irritated about new YouTubers is because I feel like people are so quick to ask, what camera do you use? What do you do this for? What do you do this? What do you do this? What do you do this? I just want people to understand that I feel some kind of way about people asking questions because I didn't ask any questions. And yes, I had the same questions that you had starting out, but I didn't spam anybody's DMs or I didn't spam anybody's comments or anything, you know, to ask these questions. And I just feel like me asking uh, Susie what she uses may not necessarily work for me because I use a Canon T5, which doesn't autofocus, number one. And number two, it doesn't have a flip screen, but I have a computer to where I can like hook it up and see myself through the computer. That's why sometimes I'm always looking down here because I'm looking at myself. But I have that computer where I can do that. But what if you don't have that computer, you know? Or what if you don't, what if you do need something that autofocuses? That's the only reason why I have what I have. So I just feel like it's very important for you to do your own research whenever making an investment. It don't just go off of what someone says. You need to definitely do your own research. So, okay, so now that we've decided, you know, like where do you want to start and what you want to do and what you want to film, I think it's important to know that starting off is easy. You just upload a video and that's just what it is. I get that question all the time. How do I start a YouTube? Upload a damn video. Like, just upload a video. It's not hard. The thing is, we get these mental blocks, right? Where it's like, oh my gosh, I want to upload a video, but, oh my gosh, I want to upload a video, but, I want to upload a video, but, and all those buts are so dumb. Like, my little brother could upload a YouTube video, you can do it. Like, all those buts are just straight mental blocks. There's no, of course your first video is not going to be the best quality or, you know, it's probably not going to be the best idea, but it's your first video, you know, it's your training wheels, you know, you're going to get better the more you do it. The more you invest in yourself, you're going to get better. Just do it. That's literally like the most redundant question I get. How do I start a YouTube? Upload a video. Boom. Like, it's not hard. So just take away all those mental blocks. You can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it. Film a video, edit it, upload it. You don't even have to edit it. Like some, if you don't like what, if you don't care about watching unedited videos, then don't edit your videos. You know, it's all in what you like to do and what you like to watch. Just make content that you know you like to watch. All right. So now that you've made your YouTube video, you have to now you need to go ahead and make sure you have a business email set up so people can contact you when they need you, um, and make it something distinct make it something that's literally connected to your name because well before my name was Jayla O'Neal and which is my married name but I changed it back to Jayla Majette for branding purposes somebody could easily make an email Jayla O'Neal and go out and branch out to all these companies and uh you know say oh I'm Jayla I got this YouTube blah 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 but you know red flag is gonna go up when the company looks and say okay well this is Jayla O'Neal and this girl right here is Jayla Majette so that's what you want to look for whenever doing your emails because I know a lot of people um, 
a lot of people they sometimes get scammed a lot of companies get scammed by fake youtubers you know for free hair and stuff like that and uh that's just not something that it's a hassle to deal with so create your email um your business email put make sure you put that in the bio of all of your uh videos make sure you put that in your instagram uh bio make sure that email is easily accessible okay so actually like talking about content like in your video um be yourself it's really really easy to be somebody else on here like i mean easy as hell it's easy you can be somebody else and trust me i know people that do it it's easy to be somebody else on this website it is so easy it's so easy to get up here and talk like this and then blah, 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 and not curse and not be yourself but i'm telling you sis be yourself because companies the companies that work with me absolutely admire my authenticity and the companies that don't work with me because i am too um urban or i'm too basically ratchet that's their loss you know you can go get you a cookie cutter youtuber that just says oh my gosh i love this so much oh my gosh i love this so much they said that to everything ain't nobody buying that shit you know what i mean because all you do is say i love this so much i love this so much ain't nobody buying that shit i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't trust a bitch like that as far as i can throw her for real because that's just no you know, it's, it's basically uh, money funded. It's basically, you know, whoever got the most coins, I love it the most. And that's really not, uh, that's just not what I appeal to. You know, I don't watch YouTubers like that. I don't watch the cookie cutter YouTubers. I don't watch the, hi, my name is Mom. I like some realness. You know, I like a little bit of, I like a little bit of ratchetness. I like for them to at least show me that they still a human being, you know, not just some robot for all these companies. And I think that's what new YouTubers start to do because I did it myself also. My little intro was doom, 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 doom. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. That's me trying to appeal to companies. As far as you changing yourself to appeal to companies, companies are gonna work, wanna work with you anyway. And if you be yourself, okay? If you be yourself, you'll attract more viewers because viewers sense that fakeness i'm telling you they know it they sense it they love watching people that they can relate to they love watching real people from my experience i just think it's best to be myself because when i did get on youtube i'm telling you i wasn't myself i was just trying to appeal to companies and then my subscriber count was low and um like uh i wasn't really doing everything i was just doing everything that would appeal to people but here's the thing people aren't gonna fucking like you anyway so just do you like nobody's ever going to approve of you 100 percent and so just be yourself so this fake person that you choose to be people are still not going to approve of it and then you're going to be like what the hell so just be yourself i'm telling you it's so easy to get on this camera and change your voice it's so easy to get on this camera and tell a lie it's so easy don't do it it's not worth it once you tell a lie you gotta keep up with the lie um don't get in the habit of asking for people's approval because all that that's gonna have to go out the door anyway um, I get a lot of DMs like, OJ, you know, I just did my first YouTube video, tell me what. Honestly, I kind of get annoyed when people ask me that because I feel like I'm setting you up for failure if I reply to you because it's like, yeah, I can tell you that I like your content, but what the fuck does it matter if I like it for it? If you like your content and you like your video, you post it. I understand that I might be somebody that you admire, but I just think that that's me setting you up for failure, you know, because regardless, there are always going to be people out there that don't like it. And honestly, even people that you admire might not like your content, but it shouldn't matter. It should just be what you like. I don't know what's going on with this new, you know, trend of any YouTubers want to support each other. Um, that's annoying as fuck. I'm, I'm sorry. It's annoying. Um, it's annoying to big youtubers. It's annoying to medium youtubers. It's annoying to everybody. That's not small. Okay, it's annoying. So um, I just think that There's this new sense of entitlement. Okay As a, as a small youtuber understand that nobody owes you anything. Okay, nobody owes you a collaboration nobody owes you um, Nobody owes you a retweet Nobody owes you a shout out. Nobody owes you any of that. And recently, I've been getting emails 
asking how much do I charge for a shout out. I don't do that stuff. I don't do that, okay? I don't do that. I don't know why people do that. I don't know. That's what I mean by if you're doing YouTube for money, you start to reach new levels of desperation. And I'm not saying people that say any small YouTubers want to help out is desperate, but I've never, ever, ever in my two years of being on YouTube seen somebody do that, okay? It's new. It's annoying. I wish it would go away. Soliciting subscribers underneath someone else's videos traffic is wrong. There's other ways to do it. There's other ways to do it. You know, it's a, it's about, you know, people say, oh, you know, it's enough money in this world to go around. It is. You're right. It is. Okay? It is. But it's not even about that. It's about the principle. It's the fact that you are literally spamming my comment for your own personal gain. You know, not even saying anything about uh, my video, but you just up here for your own personal gain. You didn't mention nothing in the video that said, oh, I love your video, Jay, da 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 To me, it just looked like you up here looking for traffic so you can get some traffic to your channel. Text line blowing up. Oh, my best friend just sent me a message. She said, God sent me a message to give to you. Don't be afraid to be amazing. I love her so much. And another thing I want to point out is watch out who you collaborate with. I don't do collaborations because with other people um, and probably not another brand because of which just I got burned. So now I'm kind of, you know, hesitant about doing uh, collaborations. But be careful because you never know what kind of subscribers that person that you're collaborating with has. I would describe y'all as a... Uh, raw just like me truthful honest supportive you know y'all got good qualities y'all got some bad qualities too because a lot of y'all cheat and y'all know that you know if i if i send all of my subscribers to somebody who is very sensitive uh their their video uh content is very uh mild mannered you know it's not as vulgar you know and y'all get underneath her comments and go yes bitch slay and you know her feelings is hurt because you call her a bitch so that's what I mean by, you know, I don't like really mixing and matching subscribers and stuff. So watch out who you collab with. Also watch out for companies that you collab with. When I first started out, I was really confused as to what companies to work with and what companies to say no to because the minute you start making videos, you know, the companies are going to start rolling in and wanting you to do uh, sponsorships and videos and stuff. And I was so confused, like, oh my gosh, I've never heard of any of these people. Who do I uh, work with and I've never heard of any of these people? That's the thing. You work with people that, that you know, if you've seen a YouTube video, I started working with Why African in my first wig based off the strength of me seeing other YouTubers work with them. Um, not saying that this is before, you know, when I was thinking about buying a wig, I was going to buy my wig from Wild African. So this is why I wear Wild African's hair a lot. You know, it's very rarely that I do a video with a hair company that I really am not in love with unless I need the money or something just being honest so yeah that's how you determine who you're gonna work with it's just based off of you know what you would buy uh, but if you wouldn't personally buy from them I don't recommend working with them my eyelash got a lot of shit like got a lot of gunk on it or something I don't know how to fix that. I need to get some eyeliner or something on there. And don't be so quick to make YouTube friends either. And I'm not saying that you need to have this guard up, uh, but people are different on the internet than they are in real life, okay? Like I said, people aren't themselves. So, you know, when you think you know, oh, 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 wait, 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 I forgot something. If Molly has 100,000 subscribers and Stacy reaches out to Molly and Stacy got 32 subscribers and she said, hey, you know, can we collab? And Molly don't know Stacy from a can of paint. Why in the actual fuck would Molly want to collab with Stacy? Because not saying that we don't have anything to offer, but when you st when your channel starts getting up there and you start to realize all the I'm not gonna say blood, sweat, tears because it's not that deep, but the mental toll that this shit, like the toll that it takes on your mental, and you say, you know what, I worked so hard for my channel to get up here, you know, blah, 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 I grew this much, and I went through this, and I went through that, because people don't see a lot of the battles that you fight. You think you just about to come up off of me, Stacey? Are you serious? Like, come on now. That is, like, so ridiculous to me. Um, so I don't necessarily see myself reaching out to, uh, It's My Ray Ray or, or Jackie Aina because, you know, you have to ask yourself, like, what am I going to do for them? And I just don't want you to go out and have this mindset that you need somebody to do something because you don't need anybody. 
You don't need nobody. You don't need to ride anybody else's coattail. You don't need none of that, okay? You don't need it. You don't need it. So don't get in the habit of it. Um, another thing, um, no advertisement is free. Nobody even reads the newspaper and it costs to put some shit in the newspaper, okay? So know your worth, add tax. Okay, cool? Okay, cool. What I mean by that is, um, when companies hit you up and ask, you know, blah, 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 I don't care if you charge them $50 to do that video. It's free advertisement. I don't care if they give you free hair. I don't care what the case is. Charge them. No advertisement is free, okay? Ain't nobody out here doing favors, all right? They need you more than you need them, okay? I'm gonna do some bottom mascara. Oh, y'all, I got a new beauty blender. I found my beauty blender when the mirrors came. It was underneath the dresser. Also, I think I'll leave in like a little like list of resources that you guys can use, like how to do your thumbnail. Really, I just Google stuff, really. That's what I do. But I can leave everything that I leave y'all personally, that I use personally. Then that'll include my studio lights that I use. Like, but right now I'm using natural lighting. I think natural lighting looks best, but that'll include like the studio lights I use, the camera I use. I gotta take this wig off and do some finesse into it. Who would that feel good to take that wig off my head? Okay, another thing is consistency, but that's a given. You know, that's a given. Being consistent is a given. Um, I'm not saying you have to upload every day, but when you're dealing with something like social media, you can be hot one day and forgot about the next day. Okay, I need to go slay this wig chapstick. Do some Carmex. So yeah, guys, um, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you guys got any questions, down below is the place to ask me because I really suck at answering um, personal questions in my business email. So down below is the perfect place to ask me if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Uh, peace out.